Hi, welcome to Server Site. In this video, I'll show you how a hacker can crack a password using Hydra in Kali Linux. Let's get started. Before I continue, I strictly want you to know that hacking is illegal. And this video is for educational purposes only. The technique you learn in this video should not be used to attack any computer or systems that you do not own. This could have some really serious consequences. Okay, right now I'm in the Kali Linux machine. I'll use this machine to crack the password using Hydra. And I also have another machine here, which is an Ubuntu machine. And this machine has some services running like FTP and SSH. I'll use Kali Linux machine to crack the password of these services and get inside these services. Now, let me get back to the Kali Linux machine. And first of all, let me discover the IP address of the Ubuntu machine. I'll use unmap to do that. Unmap 10.0.2.0 slash 24. Here I'm scanning the whole subnet because both of these machines are in the same subnet. Okay, I can see the machine here. The IP address is 10.0.2.15 and it has FTP, SSH and HTTP services running. For this video, we will attack FTP and SSH services because these two services require username and password to establish connection to these services. Now the type of attack we will be deploying today is a dictionary attack. Uh, it is a subtype of a brute force attack. How this attack basically works is this Hydra tool will try to brute force into these services using a password file or a username file and it tries to log into these services using all the passwords or usernames that are inside those files and until and unless it finds the correct username or password the attack keeps going in the real case scenario the file that people usually use is called rockcute.txt file in Kali linux that file is usually found in word list directory uh, let's go there cd user share word list okay you can see the file here rocket.txt.gz right now it's in gz format so in order to use this file we will have to extract it first i'll use gun zip to do that sorry sudo gone zip rock you dot txt dot zz okay the file has been unzipped now you can see here it's just rock you dot txt now now just for this video purposes only I will not use this rocket.txt file because this file has millions of passwords inside it and to crack the password it will take much longer time to do it. So instead of that I have created myself two files. You can see it here passwords.txt and usernames.txt. Usernames.txt file contains few usernames that I've created myself and passwords.txt file contains few passwords uh, that I've created myself and among those passwords and usernames uh, one of the passwords and one of the usernames is the right credentials to the services that we are trying to attack now uh, let's try to attack the FTP service okay the command to do that is Hydra hyphen capital L usernames.txt uh, hyphen capital P passwords.txt hyphen F as sorry FTP 
10.0.2.15 hyphen v here capital e implies for the file that contains usernames and hyphen p stands for password file that contains list of passwords hyphen f implies to stop this attack once in once it finds the correct username and password and the service we are attacking is ftp and the ip address of the target ftp service is 10.0.2.15 and hyphen v stands for verbal mode now i'll hit enter to execute this attack okay the attack is taking place right now and within a second the attack is complete we can see here uh, username has been found which is ubuntu and password has also been found which is crack me one two three now let's try to use this username and password to log into this ftp server to see if the username and passwords are correct uh, ftp 10.0.2.15 Okay, let me enter the username here, Ubuntu, and password, crack me, one, two, three. Okay, login is successful. This means that our brute force attack, our dictionary attack worked. We got the right credentials, and we are successfully logged into the FTP server of that Ubuntu machine. Now I'll quit this FTP service and try to brute force this SSZ server, SSZ service of the Ubuntu machine. But we will assume that we already know the username of this machine and we only don't know the password. So command for that attack would be Hydra hyphen small l before we used capital l because we didn't know the uh, username but for now we will assume that we know the username so we will use small l instead and after that we will enter the username that we know which is ubuntu and capital p just like before because we will assume that we do not know the password and here we will enter the name of the password file passwords.txt okay have an f the service we are trying to attack which is ssh and its ip address 10.0.2.15 hyphen v here if we had known the password and if we had only not known the username then we would exactly do the opposite we will replace this capital P with a small p and replace this small l with capital L. Now let me hit enter to execute the attack once again. And boom, the attack is complete and it has got the password which is same as before for the FTP service. Crack me, one, two, three. And Ubuntu, which is the username. Now let's try to log in using this username and password once again to SSH service SSH name of the username Ubuntu at the rate uh, IP address 5 yes okay now the password crack me 123 and we are inside this SSH server this means our attack has worked once again now I'll exit this uh, SSH service and assume that this is a real world case scenario and we actually do not know the uh, password of this machine in that case we would use that rockyou.txt file which we unzipped earlier and if in that case the attack in that case the command to attack would have been hydra uh, hyphen small l let's assume we know, we know the username ubuntu and hyphen capital p and in, 
in place of this password.txt passwords file, we will insert the path of that rocky.txt file, which is user share word lists rocky.txt. Now everything same everything same as before. Half an F as I said. Turn dot u dot two dot one five hyphen v. Now I'll execute this attack, but I know it will take very long time, so I'll stop the attack. But this is the way you usually do it when you are actually trying to extract a, a password in the real case scenario. Sorry, something went wrong here. Uh, I must have done something wrong and I found it here here instead of slash I used dot so I'll place slash here okay it looks fine now I'll hit enter to execute the attack okay right now the attack is taking place however uh, I will not get the result in very short time so I'll cancel this attack but this is the way how you do it in real world case scenario okay basically this is the way you can crack a password uh, using Hydra and you can use this Hydra tool to attack many other services and crack the password but for today's video this is it if you like this video please hit that like and subscribe button I'll be back with more videos thank you